Sheriff Ray Nash, live from Cancun, Mexico. I want to talk for a moment about the definition of policing. You know, some years ago, a colleague of mine challenged me with this. He said, have you ever looked up the definition of the word policing? I said, no, why should I do that? I've been doing it for 20-something years at that time. I know what it means. It means law enforcement. It means somebody breaks the law, we go and investigate, we respond, maybe we catch them in the act, we prosecute them. It's law enforcement and policing, they're synonymous with each other. And this friend of mine said, you ought to go look it up because you might just be surprised at what you find. So I took his challenge and I went to my American Heritage Dictionary and this is what I found. The definition of policing is the regulating and control of the affairs of a community, especially as it relates to five things. Those five things are law, order, health, health? Oh, what do you mean health? What do I like you, the health department? That's not my job. That's somebody else's job. I want, to, I want to put the bad guys in jail. Law, order, health, safety. Safety? Uh, that's the fire department's job or the highway department. It's not my job. I want to be the police. That's how we say it, you know, down in South Carolina, the police. That's where uh, police is two words and cold beer is one, but that's a whole other story. We won't go down that path. Law, order, health, safety, and morals, number five. It's not my definition. It's in the dictionary. Look it up for yourself. You know, only the first two of those five areas of responsibility have to do with law enforcement, maintaining law and order. The other three are kind of an expansion of what we might typically think of as the police mandate. But as professional law enforcement officers, we must be effective in all five, law, order, health, safety, and morals. And so given our responsibility to be the caretakers of the morals of the community, then what other component of the community should have the highest of standards in all five of these arenas? In other words, what component should be the most law-abiding, setting the best example? What one should be the most orderly, squared away, and self-disciplined? Which one should be the most fit? I get reactions out of that one a lot. Which one should be the most safety conscious? And which one should have the highest of standards in the area of morality, professional ethics, and character? And it's us. It is law enforcement. That is as it should be. Because we have so much responsibility invested in us. We are entrusted with so much authority and so much power. Of course we have to be held to the highest of standards. Think about what the power that a law enforcement officer has in America. We have the power to take away things. We can take away things like life, property, freedom, and get this, children. Nobody else in our culture has that kind of power entrusted to them. So of course we must have the highest of standards in the area of ethics and character.